Adorama TV presents Getting the Shot with Corey Rich. Hi, I'm Corey Rich, and you are watching Adorama TV. Adorama is the place where I buy all of my equipment for my photography and video needs. Today in this episode of Getting the Shot, I'm going to talk about why I love backlight. Really, the, the difference between front light and backlight. In, in lighting conditions like this, I mean, now it's a fall day in the Sierra Nevada mountains, and the sun is actually pretty low in the sky, but still, between about 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., the light, the sun is pretty high in the sky, and when you shoot front lit, it's pretty harsh. There's kind of shadows under the eyes. It's raccoon style eyes. Really, it's just a washed out light. It's pretty darn bright. Now, by simply switching positions and pointing your camera in the opposite direction so that the sun is actually behind your subject, it allows you to create a shadow on your subject's face and have controllable light with a nice rim that separates your subject from the background. The other beauty of shooting backlit is that your exposure is consistent. Once you meter for that shadow, that's it, it doesn't change. So you can see their eyes, you can see detail on the face, you can see detail on the product or the, the wardrobe that your subject is, is wearing. And it allows you to really focus on the creative rather than trying to, for example, add strobe or filling the shot using uh, a reflector to get rid of those unpleasant shadows or make the light pop a little more. But you can see it right now on me. I have this nice rim light on my shoulders and my hair, yet my face and my, my torso, it's actually consistent light versus high contrast light with shadows. All of the same rules apply when you're shooting with backlight versus front light. It's still about the moment, the composition, and the light, which of course we're shooting backlit. Now, when I'm metering for backlight, I'm actually just metering through the camera, TTL. I'll shoot for the shadow, I'll check the back of the camera, and once I've locked in that exposure, the beauty is, even if the brightness of the sun goes up or down slightly, it barely affects your shadow. So in this case, where it's, there's some milky clouds with pockets of sun, even in manual exposure while shooting raw, I'm not really concerned about subtle changes in brightness. Whereas when you're fr shooting front lit, it's critical that you're actually making those subtle adjustments or you're gonna have a problem. You can see in this front lit photograph, there's shadows under the eyes, very high contrast, kind of harsh lines. But then you see in the backlit photograph, it's consistent light. There's shadow across the entire body. I can see the eyes, I can see detail in the face, I can see the product if that's what I'm trying to capture. I can actually see it in this photograph. Again, you combine this backlight with shallow depth of field. In this case, I'm shooting somewhere between f4 and 5.6. Really allows me to separate the background from the foreground, and that rim light helps in doing just that. Additionally, it's a lot easier for the, for the talent, or for the athlete in this case, to not be squinting. When you ask them to stare directly into the sun, it's really hard to keep your eyes open. But when you're actually looking into a shadow, it's much easier. I hope what you take away from this segment is that you can shoot from sun up to sundown and really make that midday light work to your advantage by shooting backlit. You're watching Adorama TV. Content like this is published for free on a regular basis. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do, and I'll see you next time. Make sure to check out Adorama's latest contest for your opportunity to win tons of cool stuff. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.